Hello. Well, if you've been with us thus far, you know that we are in Greece right now. We spent two days on the mainland in the city of Athens, checking out some of the wine and food there. It was pretty awesome. But now we are on our way to the island of Santorini. And if you want to stick with us, I predict more deliciousness on the way. Most people know it as Santorini, but the Greeks call it Thera. They gave it that name about 5,000 years ago. Here in the Aegean Sea, it's the southernmost island in a group known as the Kiklades. In the town of Ia, from the balcony of our cave home, you can get a lay of the land, or perhaps the lack thereof. You see, most of the island is not here anymore. These steep cliffsides form the caldera, literally meaning the cauldron. They're all that's left of the island after Mother Nature decided to do a little redecorating about 4,000 years ago. I wanted to share this with you because this is pretty much the feature that defines Santorini and its wines too. This island is an active volcano. In the year 1600 BC, the volcano erupted and all this land slid down into the ocean. It created this crescent roll shape. On the top of the land, you can see that there's volcanic ash and that's what contributes flavor and style to the wines that they make. We're about to taste for ourselves and what better way to do it than right here on the cliffs of the caldera with some local fare. Asiertico is the dominant grape variety used to make wine on the island. The wine is bright, refreshing, and has a touch of those volcanic minerals. It's an apt metaphor for Santorini itself. As long as people have been living on Santorini, there has been wine. The ancient ruins of Akrotiri are all that's left of the civilization that was here before the volcano erupted. Clay vessels from Greece and Rome show us that even back then, there was a wine industry in Santorini. While it's not quite ancient, Canavarusos is the oldest winery on Santorini. They've been making traditional Santorini wines here for about 170 years now. Nicteri, okay. Then Rivari, okay. And the last one, the red, Caldera. Nicteri is a dry white wine and it's an island specialty. It's called Nicteri because that wine made during the night. Greek night means Nicta. Nicta. So Nicta Nicteri the wine. It's kind of like lemon and honey almost before it gives way to this vanilla. White wines are predominant on Santorini, but there are red wines being made. Menthularia is used to make rosés and reds that are tart, juicy, and often exhibit hints of strawberries and pomegranates. It looks beautiful, it's like a gem. I don't even want to drink it, I just want to look at it. <laughs> no, I want to drink it. <laughs> but perhaps the most famous wine in all of Santorini is Vin Santo. This super sweet concentrated dessert wine gets its character from grapes that are dried in the sun. Centuries ago, this wine enjoyed popularity in Venice, Italy. They dubbed it Vino Santo, meaning wine from Santorini. Wow, it's like raisins and caramel, prunes, figs. Pretty awesome. I think it would go great with dessert. Fortunately for us, dessert is on the menu. Oh man, that is so good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can't really talk about wine from Santorini without talking about food from Santorini. Having the Aegean Sea just a stone's throw in any direction means that the seafood is sublime. With the euro at an unprecedented low and financial woes currently racking Greeks, getting a taste of Santorini has never been more affordable. An added perk of dining here is that you can use the beach facilities. When that black volcanic sand heats up, you'll be thankful you have the shade. Yes, yes. that's Greek for hello and goodbye too. I'm chilling out right now, looking at the uh, beautiful view here, the Aegean Sea. How could you get tired of this? Uh, maybe it's just the Greek heat, but a lot of the red wines that we're finding here are being served chilled. I kind of like it. This is a Mandalaria. It's a red grape that's grown on the island, and it's quite tasty. It's a little tart and probably needs food. Uh, when you say cheers in Greek, you say stini yamas, which means I drink to your health. Stini yamas. Watching the sunset in Santorini is something of a ritual. 
Hundreds and sometimes thousands of people gather here every evening to reflect upon another beautiful day. From food and wine to history and sunshine, we've already done a lot, but it's only the beginning. Be sure to stay tuned for the second part of our Santorini adventure. Thank you for joining us here on Wine Living and Kalinita. Good night.